um, feel free to discuss anything around um, equality, mutual respect, public benefit, diversity, citizenship, all of those aspects that have maybe come through some of the classes. Um, feel free to use that as well. But um, what is crucial is different, different cultural perspectives. So how, what kind of cultural perspectives have we looked at and which activities? What do you think? Um, there's been, there's been a lot. What kind, what kind of cultural perspectives have we, have we um, looked at? MUN, okay, great. So what were, what were we looking at there for different cultural perspectives? Uh, well, um, since, we, um, since it wasn't really about um, our, our own um, thoughts, and some people did share their thoughts on the countries, uh, it just showed the, uh, the, the, how do I explain it? I don't really know how to explain this, but sure. Um, how everyone has their own knowledge on their countries and how everyone tried to help each other with the knowledge they have from each country, they, uh, from their own homeland, for right. example. And, um, and then we had to put all the differences aside and work together yeah, exactly. as one huge... Right, that's, that's one around. example of like maybe playing the devil's advocate where we had to argue a perspective that wasn't our own. In this sense, it was a very macro perspective of a whole country. Thank you, Mira. Maybe. Yeah, I was also to mention Sort of role playing. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, role playing. How was that um, engaging with a cultural perspective? What, what kind of cultural perspective did you pick up in the role playing activity? Well, I don't think it was cultural. I think we had more ideological or social. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So, okay. So, the, I think cultural can be very broadly defined as well. So, if you if you are um, role playing as um, a certain age group, um, a certain um, political background, that can be just described as a cultural group as well. Right. Yeah, so some of the things that I came up with for particularly the early um, lead events. Do you remember when we did the, the poll? Were you able to go to the lead event one? Anyone not yeah. attend the lead event one? Yeah, um, yeah so the, the, the poll everywhere was a little bit very just welcome to university, what kind of why are you here, what are you interested in? But we also did that kind of those, those dilemmas, the bikini versus bikini, which was very much a cultural, um, uh, cultural dilemma that, that um, exists currently, like for example, in France. Um, and lead event two, the national perspective, leading up to the modern United Nations, really those um, those dilemmas about how do how do we um, in different situations uh, make choices, and how does that influence how we interact with other people? So uh, migration issues, representing different countries, as, as Mira said. Um, also, do you remember when I got you to order yourselves by distance? Um, I don't know if that's to that extent is a cultural issue, but um, an understanding of yourself as different and distinct from other people, perhaps culturally, from, from where you were born, where you live, those are things you can also discuss. Um, do you just want to spend two, three minutes um, in pairs, or maybe if you want to join a group of three here, you can, and if you two want to join together, just to choose one culture, um, choose one cultural perspective that you've learned about. So it could be um, the role play that you did, it could be the country you represented, for example. Um, discuss what that culture was, how it differs from your own, um, any issues specifically that were raised in that um, debate? I mean, maybe, so what was your name again? Oh. Maybe apparently you didn't do some of those activities, but there must be one cultural perspective you've maybe um, thought about through this module. Um, yeah, so um, think about that, discuss maybe what that culture is and how, and how that's challenged you in some way. Um, so I'm just going to time you, just spend two or three minutes, and then we'll come back to the group. Okay. Go for it. Because there's a lot of talent. 
Basically, all we want to do is to demonstrate that we've engaged with different cultures, how that's challenged us, um, how, how there's some things that have surprised us, and um, what we want to do with that knowledge. Okay. Um, okay, so the second one was the impact um, you have on others and the environments that you occupy. So, 
Particularly um, the next lead event, the Forum Theatre. Anyone not attend? Did anyone not attend that one? Um, there's a recording on it on um, on Blackboard. It was where there was that role play. So there was sort of a fake business um, presentation, and then it turned out to be a role play between two students. Um, and there was a discussion of well, if one student um, changed her behaviour, the way she spoke, the words that she said, the impact that might have on the group assignment that she had to do. Um, and then similarly in class we did the role play activities as Fabian mentioned and um, also we looked at different um, different types of thinking thought processes like we go through different scenarios through the um, think the bonus thinking hats. So thinking about all the fact, this is maybe one of the harder parts of the assignments and it's what I'm getting that's been a bit challenging in some of the journals. What kind of impact, how do we how do we record the impact that we've had on others? How do we demonstrate the impact we've had personally on our classmates, on society in general. So that's why I thought I'd ask you to all brainstorm as a group, um, or two groups actually. If you want to, um, yeah, maybe four of you to pry around that table, three over here. Um, you've got some paper and pens. So spend five minutes, you might think about maybe how the classroom environment has changed, how your, your um, actions, your words, your contributions in class have changed, um, your role basically in class, how that might have changed over time. Um, in all ways to consider the impact you've, you've had. This is, um, this is something that some students did quite well in the journals, like, okay, I, I've become more of a leader in different events, but when I asked students, like, what really what their impact is, some, some students said, oh, I don't know, or um, I haven't had a, a noticeable impact, but we need to be able to express this in our assignments. So, brainstorming, what kinds of impacts have you had? Yeah? Tell the truth, be as honest, being honest is much more interesting than fun, so please, please do that. I'm going to give you five minutes. Okay. I think you're in my own way. I think we've had issues. See, you know, it's hard to say because on the one hand, I want to be like, yeah, we've had impact.
So this will be a combined class shortly. Uh, Mark might have already decided to combine this. Uh, well, did we change the environment? We created a... a students are not um, able or, or willing to contribute. Um, something that we as teachers um, always have to go through as well as idea of how do we make it an inclusive environment to, mm -hmm. to students. So something also to follow on from that, if naturally there's a group of students from a certain academic background, for example theatre, who naturally kind of promotes um, the kind of dialogue that we want to see, what do we do as a group when that if it doesn't, if it's not successful or those people who don't in, engage? Great. Well, how, how about over, over here? How, how do you show some of the impact? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, uh, what we had in mind for the question you asked is that um, we thought in order for other students to participate, that if you're sharing your, if I'm personally sharing my opinion in the group, that people would feel more comfortable to share theirs since I've already shared mine. Great. Do you think that's been happening today as well? Yeah. Yeah. This is, thank you, yeah, I would really agree. When, when you share your own personal experience, it really drops people's barriers down. And uh, enables other people to, to share, right? I think that has been, and we've been a particularly effective group in that way, so that's that's for sure. Um, these are really, really good examples. Anything else? Um, we incited arguments. Incited well, arguments? That's 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 okay, how, how have you incited arguments? Uh, because we challenged people's mm -hmm. ideas of yeah. what, like, morals or politics uh, or. Great. Whatever, like, at, I think at some point during the course of the year, um, we stopped accepting things at face value. Like, we've gone to the point where we feel comfortable enough to question things in yeah. class. Right. And sometimes that can start a, a eh, maybe not a 
enough argument is the right word than debate, a yeah. conversation. That, that's it. So that's what, and that's what I really hope to see by, by the end of the module that there would be disagreement as well as agreement amongst, uh, amongst the students. So we are really how we challenge each other um, is, is as important as how we show agreement too. Wonderful. Plus. Um, what anything you else? Plus? There was, yeah, toward the end of the, I mean, there was a lot, I think. After in, Trump? Yeah, that was a certain thing. I was going to join it in like week six. Um, just, just quickly then, just, just so, um, just to wrap this up, thank you so much. Things are really great. You can continue to share your ideas. Um,